What's going on YouTube gang? Retrospective Dave checking in and welcome to episode one of a new segment that I'm adding to my channel called Guided Laces. Today's episode features the Paul Rodriguez Nike SB Dunk High which released at participating skate shops on January 18th, 2020 and the Nike Sneakers app on January 21st for $125 US dollars. Before we get into the sneaker, I just want to explain that Guided Laces is a segment designed for sneakerheads to verify authenticity of their kicks. This isn't necessarily a review, but it is a thorough breakdown of sneakers that have come directly from official retailers. I will also provide you with the store the sneakers came from, along with proof of purchase in the form of a receipt or email confirmation. So without further ado, let's get into the shoe. Alright, so what you're looking at right now is a copy of my receipt that I got from Recess Skate and Snow, which is located in Boone, North Carolina. This is a very dope skateboard shop that I've dealt with on many occasions. Um, they've always been very fair and accommodating, so I highly recommend this store. Um, they do phone orders to my knowledge as long as the item is still in stock. So if you want to inquire about something or just inquire about the uh, P-Rods to see if they're still in stock, all of their information can be found right here in the middle of the receipt. If you look at the top left corner, this is the date that I purchased the shoes, um, January 18th, 2020 at 9.45 a.m. And the grand total came out to 133.44. All right, so this is the box that the shoes came in. Um, I was surprised to get this box because when I first saw pictures of the Paul Rodriguez Dunks, they were photographed with a multicolored box. Um, so when I walked into the store and got this one, I was kind of surprised because I didn't hear of any cancellation of a new box coming out or maybe there's a special edition box that's floating around that I don't know about but um, being that this is a premium release we we didn't even get the half and half box that you normally get with quick strikes like uh, you know like the, the black on one side and the Tiffany on the other side we just got a regular GR Tiffany box so like I said, unless there's a special edition box that's out there, this is the box that your shoes should come in. All right, so when you receive your shoes in the mail or if you meet up with someone and buy them or if you get them off eBay, this is what your label should look like. So you have your style code here at the bottom, CT6680100. Your color code is white, university red, and white. There is no mention of green, even though the shoes are red, white, and green. There's no mention of green on the label. Uh, you have your QR code, suggested retail price is $125. And these were made in Vietnam. All right, the next thing I want to bring your attention to is the paper inside of the box. So for all of my SB fans out there, you know that the paper inside of the, of the box usually has lines on them or some type of design on it. Um, Here's the Paul Rodriguez box. When you open it, when you order your shoes or you buy them on eBay or something like that, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see regular shoe paper. It's not going to have any lines on it or any designs. Um, here's the 2019 release of the Dog Walkers. You see you have the lines here on, on this shoe paper here. Even if you look at an older release, let's look at purple box era same design you can go back even further to say a pink box you see the lines even on the blue box you see the lines so this is very different so when you get your shoes if you get any paper in here that looks like this, I would be worried. Alright, so once you remove the sneaker paper from the box, you will see a quality control sticker. Or it, you should see a quality control sticker inside of the box. And this is what it should look like. Um, as far as placement of where it is in the box, I'm not sure if that varies or not. Because I've, I've only seen this box, uh, this pair. Um, so I haven't seen multiple boxes where the sticker could be in different places like... Your sticker might be over here or up against this wall here. So um, as long as the quality control sticker is inside of the box somewhere, uh, I think you should be good because that might vary um, where it's placed. All right, so this is another thing that you should see when you open up your box. This is the, the lid portion of the box and you have a stamp right here. Mine is upside down. Well, it's not. Uh, stamped upside down. I just have the the way I have the box placed is reading upside down, but the numbers are one 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 two one nine three one two 
So if you have this stamp inside of your box somewhere, um, I think you should be good. I don't know if the stamp is going to be the same number. It may, it may be different numbers for yours, but you should have a, what is that, six or seven digits? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You should have nine digits stamped inside of your box. They may not be the same, but as long as it's in there, um, you should be fine. Also, please don't overlook the dimensions of your box. So, for example, mine is a size 12. These are the numbers for a size 12 box. These numbers should change um, with smaller sizes, like a size 7, 8, size 9. Those should be in smaller boxes. So, the numbers won't be the same. But uh, my suggestion would be if you've purchased uh, shoes from a retail store before, like, um, like a size 9, SB Dunk and then you order the SB Dunk from eBay just double check to make sure that the numbers inside of your box match um, these should not change because I've actually compared this number to dunks that I have from 2005 and it's the same exact number for a size 12 so if you wear a size 9 and you got it from a store and then you ordered another size 9 that you got from eBay if you compare those numbers they should be the same all right, so now we can finally get into the nitty gritty of the shoe. Um, on the right shoe, you will have a red swoosh. On the left shoe, you should have a green swoosh. When you flip them to the other sides, both swooshes should be white. And your green laces, these, these do only come with green extra laces. Any other laces, um, if you see any extra laces attached to them, definitely be worried. They only come with green laces and the lace loop, uh, the, the very last lace loop will be the loop that the shoestrings are hanging from on the right shoe. So as far as the upper is concerned, it's all leather. Even the piping, you know, the red piping going through the shoe, that's leather as well. It's not satin. It's not any other fabric. It's all leather. Even when you flip the shoe around to the white swoosh, it's all leather. Everything is leather. There's no patent leather or anything. Um, if you flip to the back, you will see red, green, and white stitching. So you have one green stitch going across the top. You have two white stitches in the middle, and then you'll have red stitching going across the bottom. Just for added clarification, um, the right and left shoe, um, is identical in terms of the stitching on the back of the heel. So you'll still see the green going across the top the two white stitches in the middle and the red going across on both shoes. Okay, as we look at the rest of the upper, we will notice that the only parts of the upper that aren't leather uh, are the tongue, behind the tongue, around the ankle, and these tabs here, behind the tabs. All of that is a satin material. As far as the tongue tab is concerned, um, this is what the text should look like. Of course, I think that the uh, the size of the text and everything will vary with the sizes so like a smaller size uh, probably won't be as big of a tongue tab as the ones on this shoe which is a size 12 but this is what the tongue tab should look like all right moving on to the insoles you see uh paul rodriguez arms his left and right arm uh they are wrapped in like a red bandage or some type of hand wrapping as if he's getting ready to train the box the uh tags here that you see are the same text as the ones found on the tongue tabs of the shoes um you also have the nike sb signs painted in gold so the logos are in gold it's not an over overly exaggerated shine to the paint but you can tell that there's some type of gloss there a little uh you know when the light is shining on it so these are the insoles. Um, Paul Rodriguez also has a tattoo on his right arm on the right insole. Uh, it looks like a face. Like you have the forehead here and eye here. It looks like a face, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. But if you order your shoes online, your right insole should have a tattoo on Paul Rodriguez's right arm. Flipping the insoles over, you have your Zoom Air units. Uh, also this text here this is a size uh, 12 to 13 insole so if you order a smaller size it should have your 
respective sizes written here instead of the uh, 12 to 13. I don't know about these other numbers if they vary or if they stay the same but uh, that's what you'll see when you flip the insoles over. Looking at the shoes without the insoles inside it's pretty much all white. You have the threading, excess threading kind of hanging there. Or it looks like it's glued down. It's not tape, it's glued. And I noticed that they both have a green dot. This is a green dot near the heel of the shoe. Um, I don't know if all pairs have that or if it's just mine, but it seems like this was intentionally done somehow. So double check your shoes to make sure that they look like this on the inside all right this part right here is probably one of the most important parts of the sneaker when it comes to verifying their authenticity if you look right here above the qr code you will see the production dates mine are july 17th 2019 to october 16th 2019 yours may be a little bit different um you know, but as long as the dates are in the same ballpark somewhat, then you should be okay. Because not all of the shoes were produced within those dates or in that time frame. So some may be a little bit before, some may be a little bit after. But you should be okay if they're in the same ballpark somewhat. You have the UPC code right up underneath the production dates. You have your QR code uh, to the right. Your size should be in the top left corner here made in vietnam and that's that all right let's take a quick look at the outsole this is a multicolored sole you have the green you have white and you have red and right here where the white comes in i have four sections or four divisions on my pair right here so it's one two three and four you have stars right here on the circle and then you have a little small white triangle here and it fits into like a bigger triangle space so you should have a little bit of space right there where the white triangle cuts off but uh, there are stars right here similar to the ones that you would see up around the toe cap so uh, look out for that so if you get any shoes and they don't have any stars or it's very it's just clear or plain right here uh, I would be concerned about that um, as far as the four divisions i don't know if that changes with the pairs but i know mine has four so i'm assuming all of the smaller sizes or any larger sizes should have that same pattern as well all right last but not least we're going to take a look at the lace lock that comes with the shoes you will find the lace lock on both sneakers um you have the roman numeral 15 here that represents paul rodriguez 15 years with nike sb you have world champion in the middle with the R and you have SB right here on the other side it stands for skateboard you will have three little crystals they're not diamonds or anything but just three little crystals on both sides you have one two three here and one two three on the other side so that's a total of six um, this is not real gold but it is nicely made it has a little bit of weight to it um, I want to say it's, it's not really it's like a plastic but it's made very well so this is what the lace lock looks like like i said you will find these on both sneakers all right folks so we finally reached the end of the video i apologize if it was a little lengthy uh, you know but like i said i want to be very thorough with this new segment guided laces this is strictly for my uh fellow sneakerheads that didn't get an opportunity to buy the shoes in the stores because you know they sold they sell out so fast nowadays that it's hard to actually see the shoes in person so when you go online and you order them sometimes you don't know what you're ordering because you don't know what's on the real pair because you haven't seen it so um these videos aren't fun to make but i enjoy making them for the simple fact that it does help a lot of people authenticate their shoes and gives them some reassurance that they have ordered what they intended to order um, because there's a lot of people out there that like to take advantage so uh, this video is solely just to help people authenticate their shoes and feel comfortable knowing that they ordered the right thing so 
Um, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Also leave comments in the um, comment section to let me know what you think about the shoes. If you have any questions or if it was something that I left out, you know, just uh, drop a comment and I definitely respond to everybody. But everyone that's trying to get these shoes um, on the sneakers app, good luck. If you strike out and you have to go to StockX or if you have to go to eBay or if you have to meet up with someone in person to buy these shoes, definitely watch my video first. Um, just to make sure that you're ordering the right thing. So uh, stay fresh, blessed, free of stress, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.